Alright guys, so I just got back from RavenCon, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the convention, Brianna Wu, the Ralph Report, and of course Gamergate. So come on downstairs, and we'll have ourselves a little chat. Alright, so as you guys already know, I just got back from RavenCon in Richmond, Virginia. And what you may not know is what RavenCon is. It is a science fiction fantasy gaming convention. It mostly focuses around authors, but they also have many different guests of honor, artist guests of honor, gaming guests of honor... Just all kinds of really good stuff to do. It's a smaller convention, but I have a whole lot of fun there, and this year was no exception. I had a blast. This is my third year going, second year returning as a guest, and I've had a blast. It was a really great time. I got to meet some really awesome people, make new friends, see old friends. That's just kind of what conventions are like, and I had a whole lot of fun. RavenCon is always just a blast. So if you're near the Richmond area, or for whatever reason you happen to be down here in Podunk, Virginia, Come out to RavenCon, it's a lot of fun. Next year it's gonna be held in Williamsburg. This was the last year as it's, it's kind of almost poetic being the 10 year anniversary being the last year in Richmond and moving on to Williamsburg. Um, the hotel didn't really treat RavenCon very good this year so they found a new venue. And I will be back next year as well in Williamsburg and I will have just as much fun if not more fun because Busch Gardens is right up the road from RavenCon next year. It'll be a whole lot of fun so definitely looking forward to that so with that being said you guys know that I've been a very very strong supporter of Gamergate I've been very strongly against Anita Sarkeesian and other people who are on the other side of Gamergate and Brianna Wu was a guest at this year's convention her and her husband Frank were the artist and gaming guest of honor obviously Brianna was the gaming guest Frank was the art guest and I gotta tell you, I went into the convention with negative feelings towards Brianna and Frank. I just went in not liking them. Just, that was like, my first initial reaction was, don't like them, they're part of the social justice warriors, they're just as bad as everybody else, I've read everything on the internet, you know, the internet says bad things about people, and you know you can believe everything you read on the internet. Well, that turns out not to be true. Um, my first experience with Brianna and Frank actually was, I was actually headed out to get something to eat. I was headed down to Wendy's to get some grub, and they were looking for the main hall for opening ceremonies. They, they were kind of confused, you know, new hotel, new convention, you know. So I was like, hey, you guys looking for opening ceremonies? They were like, yeah. And I walked into opening ceremonies, talked to them for a couple of minutes. They were really nice to me, so I was like, maybe I'm mistaken about these two. And then I heard about the Ralph report getting kicked out, and up until I found out the entire situation, I was like, maybe I was right about Rihanna. And my opinion really began to change when I was on the panel, the top 10 video games of all time, with Brianna and myself and two other people. <laughs> I can only tell you T. Morris was the moderator, and he's an awesome guy. But... During that panel, you know, we all got to talk about our favorite video games and, you know, basically, you know, we didn't even mention Gamergate or anything like that during the panel. And honestly, I got to tell you guys, one, Brianna has good taste in video games. She's very nice and has a pretty decent sense of humor, too. You know, she's not, she's not Anita Sarkeesian. She doesn't, you know, hate people who play games where women have large chests and do dirty stuff. She's not like that. She's actually, you know, all for, you know, the games that are out now. She's not trying to change the gaming industry. What she sees, and I heard this, I was not at the Gamergate 101 panel, but I have a friend who actually has the audio of the panel. And what he was telling me after, you know, re-listening to it and checking everything out was that she actually said this in the panel that she doesn't want to change the gaming industry. She just sees a market that isn't being tapped into. Half of the women in this gaming community, or excuse me, half the people in the gaming community are women, and she wanted to tap into that by making a games for women. And marketing-wise, that's a genius idea, because there really aren't very many games that are truly geared towards female players, other than games like Cooking Mama, which is kind of insulting when you think about it. Um, she was really nice. Uh, later on that day, I was on another panel with Frank Wu, who is her husband, and that dude is awesome. Oh my God, I love that guy. He was hilarious. I had a blast talking to him. He's got a really good sense of humor. 
He's fun, he's energetic, and a great panelist, and a really just all around nice guy. And you know, after meeting them and being on panels with them, I realized they aren't the bad guy. They aren't these evil people that, honestly, a lot of Gamergate has made them out to be. And after that, I talked to I talked to Frank after my panel with him. I flat out told him, I was like, you know, I came in here with a negative opinion of you guys, and I'm leaving with a positive one. They were nothing but nice, fun, funny, smart, wonderful people to talk to, and I enjoyed being around them. I really did. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate from people for saying this, but I enjoy talking to them. I enjoy being around them. Now, speaking of Brianna and Frank, let's go to the Ralph Report. Oh, Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. What are you doing, man? Like, what are you doing? You know, as much as I've sided with Gamergate in all this, what are you doing? Like, you intentionally came to the panel and have said negative things about Brianna in the past. You come to this panel. While she's setting up for the panel, you take a picture of her and tweet it to her with the hashtag Gamergate on it. What did you expect to happen? Did you expect for everybody at the convention to oh, welcome you with open arms? Oh, Ralph, you support Gamergate. You want Brianna gone from this convention. You got, you got what you wanted. You got kicked out. You were intentionally causing trouble. You had your buddy behind you recording the video to get you kicked out of the panel. Not the convention, mind you. You were released from the panel, not the entire convention. And you were welcome to enjoy the rest of the convention. You got yourself kicked out intentionally to start some crap to get your buddy to make a video that has hit 36,000 views so far. And you got what you wanted. You got attention. And it seems to me, just from reading a little bit of your blog, checking out your Twitter, and seeing what you're about, you're not a journalist. You are just a troublemaker, and you want to stir the pot. And you came to RavenCon specifically to stir the pot. And I've said this before in other videos, I'll say it again, the more you stir the crap, the more it stinks. And you came to stir the crap. That's all you did. And you gave what few good, well not what few, you gave the good Gamer Gators out there a bad name by doing that. And you just came to try and make Brianna look like a fool, and that wasn't cool, dude. You know, as much as I've sided with Gamergate through all this, I've not really tried to stir the pot so much. I've just, I've voiced my opinions on things, and you guys have seen that on my channel, but I have never just come out and went to a person to start crap. That is not how I roll. I don't like that. Now, yes, I'm not a fan of Anita Sarkeesian. No, I don't think she's a real video gamer, and I think her videos are pretty bad, but I've never once gone out of my way to go to a place where she is at just to start crap and get myself kicked out so I could make a name for myself. And Ralph, that is exactly what you were doing. Um, I said I wanted to talk about Gamergate, and um, I guess this is, I wouldn't say this is me swallowing my pride so much, as this is the fact that, much like my opinions of Brianna and Frank have evolved and changed, my opinions of Gamergate have also evolved and changed. After, you know, seeing the crap that Ralph was trying to stir and honestly thinking to myself, man, if I make a video talking about how much I actually liked Frank and Brianna, I would get harassed. It occurred to me, if I'm thinking that people in the Gamergate community might harass me for changing my opinions on somebody who's not part of Gamergate, then just maybe I'm on the wrong side. Now, I also do not, do not, 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 not side with the social justice warriors. They are worse than a lot of the gamer gators out there. And not all social justice warriors are bad, not all gamer gators are bad. But when you say social justice warrior, you think of the negative on one side. When you say gamer gate, you think of a negative on another side. And honestly, I'm not going to send those hashtags out anymore. I'm not going to send out Gamergate anymore. But I'm also not going to turn and be a social justice warrior either. I'm still planning on taking my stand against the opinions of Anita Sarkeesian. 
I'm still planning on doing my positive female characters in video game series. That is still, you know, on on the track of being finished up with the first episode. What I'm going to do instead is I'm not going to be Gamergate anymore. I'm also not going to be a social justice warrior. I'm going to be Genesis Moss. Because when it comes right down to it, I don't think that we need the Gamergate hashtag or the Gamergate groups to support ethics and journalism or to stand up to poor opinions like Anita Sarkeesian's. What we need is people to be themselves. We need people to be themselves and we need them to stand up for what they believe on an individual by individual basis. Because what happens when we get these groups like the Social Justice Warriors and the Gamer Gators is eventually we fall into a group mentality and we all start acting the same and thinking the same and eventually we're like the Borg and we have no opinions of our own. So I'm not saying that Gamer Gators and SJWs don't have their own individual opinions, but what I'm saying is, is we are on the road to that happening. And I personally don't want to see that happen. I enjoy thinking for myself. I enjoy having my own opinions. And I'm just not going to let any group tell me what to think and what not to. So that's my opinions on Gamergate, Brianna Wu, RavenCon, and the Ralph Report. Thank you guys for watching and I hope I can enlighten some of you guys to think a little bit differently. Subscribe, comment, and give me a like.